Positive numbers on a number line represent their distance to the right of the tick mark for zero. For example, a bar to the right of zero with a length of one measures the distance from zero to one on the number line. Two of these bars measure the distance from zero to two. Three of these bars measure the distance from zero to three. Note, a positive number can be represented by an arrow that measures from zero to that number and points in the positive direction, which is to the right. Negative numbers on a number line represent their distance to the left of the tick mark for zero. For example, a bar to the left of zero with a length of one measures the distance from zero to negative one on the number line. Two of these bars measure the distance from zero to negative two. Three of these bars measure the distance from zero to negative three. A negative number can be represented by an arrow that measures from zero to that number and points in the negative direction, which is to the left. The opposite of a number is its mirror image across zero. For example, if 4 is represented by an arrow from 0 to 4, the opposite of 4 is found by reflecting the arrow across the tick mark for 0. So, the opposite of 4 is negative 4. In the next example, if negative 5 is represented by an arrow, the opposite of negative 5 is found by reflecting this arrow across the tick mark for 0. So, the opposite of negative 5 is 5. Notice that taking the opposite of a non-zero number always changes the sign of the number. Measurement strategies can be used to plot and label positive and negative values on a number line. For example, two yellow bars measure the distance from zero to four. Since each yellow bar is the same length, the length of each yellow bar is two because two plus two equals four. Once the length of the bar is known, it can be used to measure and label other points on the line. For example, one two bar to the right of eight is 10. On the other hand, one two bar to the right of negative eight is negative six. This answer can be justified by noting that this point is a distance of six to the left of zero. In addition, this location can be justified by showing that the opposite or mirror image of negative six is six.